Hi and a warm welcome from Shamal Sheikh, the city of peace. Hello Katharina, nice that you are here. Hello Kirsten, it's nice that you could come today and that I can spend the day with you. Let us introduce you to the first part of the cooking show, Tasty and Healthy. We will present you a wide range of typical fasting food, which is easy to prepare. It's very tasty, very healthy and for everybody easy to prepare. The food is interesting, it's coping with the demands of our Coptic cooking cycle and the year and uh, we, will, we will be sure that your kids and your family, they will love it. All our family, they like it anyhow. I will show you today how easy it is to make a very nice and delicious food in a very easy way. So let's start. Today we have a pumpkin with coconut milk and I will show you now the ingredients which we will have and which we will use here. So this is uh, the pumpkin which you will dice. Then we have a nice carrot. Then we have here curry leaves. We have curry paste. We have pepper and we have coriander. So let's start. We start now here with the pumpkin. We take about 200 grams of diced pumpkin, which I will divide now in this very easy way. So then we will take one of our peelers here and just peel down the skin of this very nice pumpkin. It's a going in actually in a very easy way and a fast way so so if you have to help a little bit with so we can cut it through. We cut it now in mouthwise pieces. So we can cut the fourth ones again. So if you get not always the peeler, you just cut it down then with a normal knife. The most important thing is that all these pieces are in mouth size pieces here. So then this one is done. Then we take all of these into the pan. We preheat the pan now with normal olive oil. Just a little bit as we don't want to have so much oil in the food. So it's running now, so just give it a little bit more. So you will see easily when it starts to bubble then it's ready then to put in the pumpkin. Well we can start already with dicing the fish. It's also here in mouse size pieces. It's normal fish, um, you can take any kind of fish you like as long as it is a filet as we don't want any bones in the dish. So. This recipe will not take you really f about 10 minutes just to prepare and the cooking will be at least maybe 15 minutes and the dish will be done and you can enjoy with your family. So now we can have a look that the oil is already finished that we can put in the pumpkin. Let's see. So while now the pumpkin is here in the pan, we let it fry a little bit just to give it a stir that it will not turn brown as we want the pumpkin not to be too soft. We just need it to till bite. So it will take now a few minutes. 
so now we are continuing here with the coconut milk. We will take now here this uh, paste of curry. It's yellow curry. It's just a, a normal base where you can, which you can buy in a normal shop. So then we put it in here and just mix everything well together that it becomes like a paste and that the paste is fully absorbed here from the coconut milk. We don't want any lumps in it. So now we're going to have a quick look then for the pumpkin. So we can see that sides of had been already turned a little bit brown, exactly the way in which I want it. So to make it soft then, the coconut milk will do the rest. So we will pour it now in. While we have put already here the coconut milk in, we leave it stir for a while. It looks now at the moment a little bit liquid, but it will reduce for, for a time. We still have the fish cuts which you have to put in as well, so that the uh, coconut will, milk will go inside the uh, fish. And we just stir a little bit that everything is nice come together here. So and we have our green leaves here, the curry leaves, which are actually from South Africa. We just uh, crush them and put them over it, just like this, because they are already dry. They will give the dish a very intense taste and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Um, then we have still our carrot, which we will also put in now. We will dice it in a normal way. Just peel it down like this. So, and then we just put it in the complete dish just like this. See how many colors we have in here. It's a beautiful color from the pumpkin and a nice color from the carrot. Combined with the green of the leaves. So you can see already here that it's getting already a little bit more thickened. We have reached now the 10 minutes of cooking time and we will present it now. We have cooked in the meantime as well a little bit of rice, which I will get now. And just put it on the plate. So you have a nice white color here. And then you can add the nice and yummy pumpkin and uh, coconut milk. So, and in addition then to this colors, we will add a little bit more of the very yummy coriander, which you will take off here. Just cut a little bit of these nice greeny leaves, put them together just Grate a little bit small. So, and then take it as it is, just on the dish. And it's ready for taste. Please, try it. Most 
of the food we are eating, we are just eating like that, and we are not really aware of what we are doing. But, uh, and then if we are not feeling well, we rush to the pharmacy, buy anything, or we even go to the doctor if we have to, and then we take some pills, some medication, and we hope we will be better. But if you think about it, these new modern drugs are not so old. They are, not, they are with us no longer than around 100 years. What did the people do before? In fact, the art of healing with food is very old. And uh, prior to the modern drugs we have now, it was very common that anybody who had been busy preparing food had a common and a basic knowledge of what is prepared and the ingredients, which kind of ingredients and what are the benefits of this. Of course, in modern times now, it would, it would be irresponsible and it would be not feasible if we just ignore all these modern drugs and go back 100 years ago, 200 years ago, and we are pretending that everything can be cured, cured by food. Number one, we are not good enough for this. Who of us is really professional in knowing all the ingredients and all the benefits? Very few people only. And number two, it would be not practical. But what we can do, and this is what the, the next episodes are all about, we can increase, and we can increase our awareness, we can increase and use food and certain ingredients with food on a certain purpose or for a certain purpose. And um, in fact, this is very old. We have in Europe, this is around two, more than 2,000 years old. In Europe specifically, the knowledge of herbs, like we have here a little bit of coriander, and the benefits of it had been developed in the Middle Ages in the monasteries. So the monasteries, most of the monasteries had beautiful gardens and all these gardens had been planted and planted with herbs and spices and certain foods which had been used according to the benefits for the people. When we, but it's not only Europe. When we go a little bit further, when we go to India, it is around 5,000 years now and the Indian healing tradition of Ayurveda is incorporating, preparing food as part of the healing treatment like they are using herbs. In fact, when I had been in Switzerland, I had been involved in the opening of the first Ayurveda clinic. And believe me, I was amazed what these cooks can do there. These cooks had been cooking specifically for every single patient according to the daily condition. And uh, the improvement of the people there was like something out of the world. So this is quite a lot of information, and, uh, but where is the practice? So as you see, I have prepared here some uh, ingredients for the dish. start with around 750 gram, kilo, gram of calamari. This calamari, I don't know if you are aware of it, the protein in the calamari and in fish in generally are very easily di to be digested from the, uh, from the human body, from the human metabolism and it's one of the easiest protein sources for the body. So anybody who is a little bit weak or not really very fit or feels like a tired, this is a good food, any kind of uh, fish protein is a good food because it wouldn't make a burden to your, uh, to, to your system, to your digestive system. So this is 750 grams. We take here three spoons of candied orange rind. This I made at home. I am not so sure if you can buy, buy this in the shop. Probably this is uh, orange rind and you take a zester, you zest it and then you cook it in sugar and you dry it. Three spoons of this. If you can't find or you don't have this, which most of the people will not have, you can take fresh orange rind. You just use a zester or a sharp knife and take a little bit of the rind out of the orange without the white. If you include the white, the whole thing will taste bitter. Here we have two tablespoons of balsamico vinegar. 
It is very rich in minerals. The way the balsamico vinegar is produced, it's in oaken barrels, and it will take some of the uh, produce from the barrels, and it's usually very rich. Here we have paprika. This is one big spoon of paprika. Garlic, one of the favorites. Many people have heard about the health benefits from garlic. This is, in fact, uh, very good for the blood thinning. It will not make your blood very liquid, but uh, the regular use of garlic will thin out the blood a little bit, which you can believe is very good for any uh, conditions with a heart or with a brain. The blood is going to all the body more easily and it is transporting the, o uh, the oxygen readily. <coughs> this is not very healthy, this is sugar, but anyhow we want to eat it and your family has to eat it. This is for taste. And then here we have three spoons of orange juice as well for taste. Here is half a spoon of salt and extra virgin olive oil. We will use it for frying in the end three spoons. So I think the best thing is to start. I will start. I put here already in the pestle a three spoons of this uh, orange rind. I will make it a little bit small. Otherwise, everybody will be fishing for the orange rinds and ask you, what are you cooking here? This is fine. This goes in here. Next one, this is the vinegar. Vinegar. Paprika. Then here we have the garlic. Sugar. The sugar is a little bit depending on your kind of vinegar. If you are using vinegar with a high acidity, you might need a little bit more sugar. If you use a low acidity, you might not need so much. Same as for the orange juice. If the orange juice is with sugar, then reduce your sugar content. This orange juice is without, without sugar. And here, a little bit of salt. This spoon has been given to me for my birth, from one of my aunts, and it is my, uh, it is my salt spoon. You will see, see the spoon in later editions as well. Everything with, and this is now a marinade for the fish. Next, the fish. You can see this calamari have been already cut and uh, prepared. All the head and all, what, uh, all the wings have been already removed. So this is, it's lying on the board with the inside of the calamari on top. This is the outside is uh, touching the board and on the inside of the calamari with a sharp knife I will make now slashes diagonally, not very deep, they should not penetrate, it's just about uh, a millimeter. So this will help the calamari to cook very even and they will hopefully nicely curl up. So now you see second, you see the, sh the slashes of the calamari. Now I will turn the board and I will cut it in two centimeters, two centimeter times five, more or less. So this will be a little bit more. This will be now cut. I will go now and fry the calamari. In fact, I will use about three spoons of the olive oil. They will, it will be heated to around 140 to 160 degrees. I will, before I fry it, of course, I will first marinate it, put it here inside. Stir it, 
that it is nicely coated and in fact it smells beautifully of orange and I love orange in any kinds and any forms. So the whole product before it's going to the cooking pot looks like that. So I will go now heat the pan and after, and after heating the pan I will take them out of the marinade and I will fry them for around five minutes. I heat the frying pan first and add the oil after. In this you need a little bit less oil. And as we are cooking for health consciousness, that is important. So, swirl it so that it is evenly coated. I fish them out now. We will leave the calamari now for fi around five minutes to, to cook and uh, after this we will add the remaining marinade, heat it, it has to boil and thicken a little bit for another one or two minutes and then it is ready to serve. And as you see I prepared over there already a dish with uh, a plate with some toast and uh, we will just eat it on toast. So the calamari have been cooked now, the marinade had been pro a little bit reduced and uh, we are going to serve this now on a plate which I already prepared. So like that and we put a little bit of uh, marinade over it Okay, and then Add a little bit chopped parsley, not too much. Oh, that's fine. 